Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Realm of Terror with the Ring. We are trying that again. We're going to try that timed section again. This time, we're just going to go straight down to the basement where the monster has to be, the monster that stole the key because the music changed when we went down there. It's got to be that. We're going to go straight down there. We're going to have more than enough time to look through that entire floor. Let's get to it. Oh, and by the way, for this session, uh, I have changed the camera angle to first person. So we're playing from first person all the time. Is it good? Oh, no. Oh, no. But we're going to put up with it as we continue to play the Ring Tower's Realm. Let's get our instructions from the brigade member who's in here. Yeah, here he is. He's going to tell us all about it. Don't surprise him. We didn't mean to. Oh, he's upset. Why are we standing here? You gotta help him because we're all gonna get gassed. Meg doesn't know about it. Brigade member doesn't know. Doesn't care if he know if she knows or doesn't know or can do anything because we're all gonna die. What in the world is happening? The gas. The gas is what's happening. We need to restore power. We'll all die. Gas spray? Why is such a thing? We were going to gas the monsters, but then the monkey monster appeared. They're pretty intelligent. Oh no, we're going to die from gas. We need to find a huge monkey with the key. Meg is pretty amazing. Find the monkey, restore power. We have 15 minutes. 1951 is the code. 1951 is the code. The game really does make us work. Ah, I mean, it really hasn't been that difficult so far. We've only gotten the one game over. So... Yeah, we're going to try this again, and he's going to point his shotgun at us, and okay, we get the picture. Let's get out of here. Okay, 15 minutes. Give, give me the control. Here we go. Here we go. We're going. We're going in first-person mode. You get to experience the wonder of the Ring Terror's Realm in first person, along with me. Along with me. I've been playing for a little while, getting back up to this point, so I'm a little a little bit familiar with how first-person mode works. Not well, is what I can tell you, but I did say we were going to try out all of the camera angles, and this is one of them. All right. Music's changed. We are in the basement. I am full up on, like, a whole lot of stuff, like ammo and flashlight and all that. We're going to go in these rooms. I spent a lot of time looking on the first floor last time. Um, looking in the wrong places. Well, this is, the, this is not the guy. We already tried him. So, excuse me. I'm going to leave. Nothing personal. Nothing against you. I have to find a monkey man with a key or we're all going to die. So it's in your best interest, too, for me to find the monkey man. Here's a microscope room. Let's take a look. I forget which rooms I took a look in last time. I just remembered that blue guy, and that is not the guy. Anyone here? No. I assume I'm going to recognize this guy when I see him. Like, it sounds like he's supposed to be a special enemy, right? I hope it's obvious when we see this thing that this is the guy that we have to fight. No monkey men in here. Continue down. This would be uh, upper room. That's right. This is where we got the shotgun. I believe it was. Anyone here? Oh, I think my flashlight went out. Hold on. Let me load up a battery. All right, there we go. Does not seem like anything's in here. Or anyone. All right, back out we go. I'm not worried. We got plenty of time. And there are not many rooms, really. Or at least I'm assuming that when I go into the room, you're not Monkey Man. I recognize you.
That guy's not Monkey Man either. Eh, I probably didn't need to use that ammo. I probably just could have turned around and walked back out. Alright, this one I don't think we can open. No, it doesn't open. Alright. So, we've... Take a we took a glance at all the rooms in this hall. We didn't see anything. Uh, Bree oh wait, no, I passed this. I passed by this one. F how can we forget about the breeding room? It's the most important of rooms. Hello. Oh, that is a large. Yeah, I think we have found our monkey man. This has got to be him. That is a monkey, definitely. He is more monkey than any enemy we have fought so far. Oh, oh no, I'm getting pummeled. What am I doing? Okay, I need to reload. Uh, might as well smother on some healing jelly while I'm being pummeled by the monkey man. He's more monkey monster than monkey man, though. All right, let's get to the other side of the room. I guess the breeding room really was the most important of rooms. Do you like how you can't actually s you can't actually see the weapon in front of us, and we can't actually see the item? We have to step on it, and now we can pick it up. We found it. Okay, yes. This is the monkey with the key. There are limits on tricks to play. What does that mean, Meg? I don't understand anything you say in this game. I am puzzled by pretty much every line you have said so far in this entire game! What tricks? Who is playing the tricks? What do you think is going on? Uh, alright, so... We need to go up the stairs. And I think it was through here. Hello? Uh, yeah, exit. Um... Yeah, he, there, these are the stairs, yes. All the doors look alike. Takes me a second to remember which one is which. Okay, up we go. Is the game more thrilling for you in first person? Like, there's a, a greater sense of urgency and danger, right? Getting right up face to face with the monsters like this. It definitely does not look clumsy at all. Uh, which one's this? Transmission, that's it. This is the room with the control panel, I believe. Code is 1951. Yep, there we go. Electrical room. Let's do it, Meg. Meg, the timer is still going down when you're talking. Okay, yes. Change the controls. Turn the power on. Let's do it. Key is turning. Power is on. Okay. Keypad. One, nine, five, one. Yes. Okay. Emergency power is on. Power in the lab has been restored. The timer is gone. Oh, hey, who's that? That's not Sadako. That doesn't look anything like her. It looks like the gas is not happening after all. I can tell by the sound. Oh, she's gone. I guess it was just Alessa. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. The important thing is that the power is back. I can probably go back from that capsule. Cap capsule? I guess I... Oh, the thing in the basement, you mean? Where you woke up? I mean, we could try going back there. Um, let me first go to the office and see if Brigade Member is there. Does Brigade member have anything to say to me? Maybe he might thank me? Might thank Meg? For stopping the gas? You know, I think a thank you is, uh, would not be inappropriate. He was in here. Hello? Brigade member? We're all saved, thanks to me. Uh, no, he's not here. I guess we could take a look around. Anything in here? Ugh. Come on, Meg. Get around that desk. Oh, there we go. No, nothing's in there. Never mind. So you can see how great navigating in first-person mode is. It's like a mode that they threw in because I guess first-person games are popular, but they 
doesn't seem like they actually did any kind of testing of it at all. It doesn't seem like it. Let's open this. Can I open that? Apparently not. There we go. No, nothing in there. I could open that one. Can't open this one? Guess not. So, in first-person mode, just like with normal camera controls, I can look around in first-person mode, but you know what happens when I let go of the button to do this? Just snaps right back. That's not disorienting at all. Anyway, Meg said go back to the capsule. Now, when she first entered the game, she woke up in, in a thing, and I guess that thing is what she's referring to as the cast. Oh, there's like a guy down there. Hold on, I'm going to run around him. And there we go. Okay. Uh, let's see, I want to go to the stairs. The stairs are here. Stair there we go. So let's see, I, from that room, from that initial room, I like went down into a manhole into the basement. So I have to find the ladder that will take me back up. Let's see, no, no, no. gotta go through here. Find the ladder that will take me back up to that original room I was in. And I believe it's right here, to the left. Now there's a guy there. But I wonder if we can just run around him and get to that ladder. Instead of dealing with all that. Can I? I can't go here. Can I open this door? I can. Oh, it was actually this. I guess. Yep, here we go. Go up this ladder. Alright, here's the original room. I guess she wanted to look at this capsule. The power is back, so I guess we can use it. Well, I guess there is a lot to worry about, Meg. I mean, I don't know if getting into the capsule is any more dangerous than what we've been doing. Alright, let's lie down, have a nap. Hopefully, we'll wake back up in our office. Yeah, it worked. Now, maybe we can go get lunch. Remember that? We were trying to get some lunch. Yeah, I mean, staring at a screen for hours and hours on end. You know, it's not that good for you. You want to take breaks every now and again. And VR, you know, that really takes it out of you if you spend a lot of time in that. This is the pits. Now, Meg, I don't know if that was more meta commentary on this game. Whenever Meg talks about how terrible this game is, you know, I know she's talking about the ring game she's playing, but I can't help but think that maybe that's like some, maybe that's some commentary that someone snuck into the game. Nothing in here. All right, let's leave here. And if we don't get any more instruction, I guess we'll head back to the cafeteria. See if we can actually have some of that lunch. All right, let's go this way. I'm becoming more familiar with the layout of the CDC. I know exactly where that cafeteria is, and it is down here. I bet they fin. I bet the other two have finished their lunch already. We weren't gonna wait around for me old Meg as we were risking our life. I think it's kind of hard to tell. All right, everyone's here. Here she is. Uh, no, not a phone. Wait, Kathy, my boyfriend died at the beginning of the game. I'm not sure if you know that. It's, that's kind of insensitive. Yeah, the phone call wasn't him. He's dead, is why. I guess I, I'm, I thought Chris knew that Robert died. So she, I guess I know she doesn't seem to realize what's wrong with what was said. I mean, you know, I had a lot of things to talk about with the undead 
ghost girl who has supernatural video game making powers. What story are we talking about? Give me the latest gossip on what's going on in the CDC. Tell me all about the underground. I want to know. I mean, it would be better if you were doing something bad. That would be more interesting. Maybe something interesting would happen. Oh, the chief's far too busy to listen to these unfounded rumors. He only likes founded rumors. Yeah, tell Meg all about it. Let's get into that basement. Let's see what's down there. You really, I'm really interested, Kathy. Not as interested as an explanation for that hair, but I'm pretty interested in the basement. The basement is creepy? How about that? People who get infected with a virus get ho hospitalized in the basement. Well, I mean, I guess that would be to quarantine people off from the rest of the building. That doesn't seem that odd. I mean, if you're saying that they were infected deliberately, I guess it would be. It's all very hush-hush. Wait, I thought you said this was an unfounded rumor. You're, you're saying that the chief is in on it. Oh, wait. Do I have... Yes, I do have one. I got... In the game world, I have one, but in the real world, I also have one because Dr. Jones dropped it when he attacked me. He gets mad and doesn't know if you ask. Yeah, we encountered that. We encountered the chief getting mad and saying that he doesn't know what we're talking about. It's been around for a long time. Oh yeah, we read something about the 8mm film. And then he just started acting crazy. Crazy for indie movies. He, got, he became like a real movie snob and just intolerable to talk to. What, what, what is that about people who get infected with this virus? All right, we'll keep listening. What do you have to say? Hmm, found some weird virus, I, you say. Well, you can't get infected with a virus from a film, obviously. Hmm, yes, we did read about that. Yeah, the, re the, the the two of you see a little girl. I've sort of been seeing a little girl out of the corner of my eye lately. Not sure if she's actually there or a ghost or maybe a, a, a fig figment of my repressed memories. It's hard to say, but I'm sure it's one of these things. All right, so Robert wanted to know. I mean, Meg, we know that Robert was looking. We read his note. We know that Robert was getting in on things that maybe he should not have been looking into. And that's what we're doing. We've been looking into things that we should not be looking into. Yeah, the, the other two, two of you, see that? Hear a little girl laughing? No? She's right there. We're looking right at her. Oh, we're, we'll worry about it. Believe me, we are going to worry about it. Oh, I'm back in... <laughs> I didn't realize for a sec we are back in gameplay because we're in first-person mode. Let's get a good look. All right. Since we're in first-person, we can uh, take a closer look, as close of a look as we want to on this. And, you know, I'm going to guess uh, we're not looking at hair. I think we're looking at feathers. I don't have an explanation for that. 
But I'm saying that it's... Oh, what? I can't really move. Okay, there we go. I'm going to say that this looks more like feathers than any kind of hair. Nothing to say? All right. What do you think about Kathy's hair? No, she can't. She has no answers either. All right, I guess we're just going to leave. So now we need to get into the basement. We have a level two card. I guess the others don't. And uh, so all we need now is a door that will take us down into the basement. Oh, stairs, you say? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Can I? Oh, yeah, that's right. I do have to press a button to prompt it to go down. Uh and the music just got dramatic. Nothing around us. Just, just a door. So we've seen the game version of the basement. What is the real version of the basement like? Oh, it looks innocuous so far. I wonder if there's a breeding room down here. Maybe we'll find out what happens in there. Look, game, you're gonna have to stop starting the music track like that if nothing is happening, okay? You should save it for, like, a surprising moment. Here's some keys. Uh, I guess we cannot pick up the keys. Doesn't seem like... It. No, don't do that. Just... I mean, keep the music track going longer. You don't have to restart if that's how it restarts. I'm just going to say you're kind of wasting the sting there if nothing's actually happening. Well, might as well save on this. Since, you know, we've, we've done something. We've gotten some stuff done. Uh, so I might as well. Since it's right here. <laughs> Still love it. Still love it. <laughs> All right. Nope. You just... I'm going to say, bad choice of music. I'm just feeling that right now. Now, we don't have any weapons in the real world, so... Don't know if we'll actually encounter any enemies, because if we do, I don't know what we're going to do about that. We're just going to have to dodge. So I'm going to assume no one actually played through the basement when this game was in development. Otherwise, they may, might have noticed that um, that music keeps playing like that. And uh, this is someone we haven't seen. Hello? Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. No one deserves to die like that. Well, I, I guess at least you're laughing about it. Hmm, have we heard of Alex before? I don't remember if you've heard that name. No, she's going to die in three days, Meg. It would be nice if that synced up with something surprising, but it is not. Ah, that's good. Keep your chin up. Only it's, okay, so you've seen the video, I suppose. Nothing more to say. <laughs> well, at least that synced up with the opening of the door, even though there was nothing behind the door.
So that was an interesting conversation. I guess uh, I guess she has been shown the video. And maybe she's being kept down here to see what happens? Not sure. Looks like... It looks like we have no reluctance to go into the men's room down here in the basement since... Well, are we going to run into Lakino? I guess it's possible. Lakino, are you here? So far, you're not. I haven't seen you for a little while, actually. I mean, really, that music we're hearing, the beginning of it would be perfect to hear if we run into Lakino. All right, let's see. I think this is where we're going? Yeah, this is where we're going. Ah, the breeding room. That's right, it's right here. Let's see what the real world version of it is. And if... And if maybe there's a monkey man inside. There is no monkey man. So what does this have to say? What are we saying about this? Anything to say, Meg? About what's on the walls? Doesn't seem like it. There's an item box. All right, it doesn't seem like she's saying anything about anything here. Gonna cut that off. I think this was... I forget about it every time. I think this was the room that we got the shotgun in up there in the game world. But here there is no shotgun. Here there is what appears to be an old man. It's slightly bent over. What does he have to say? Okay, he seems lucid. <laughs> he is not doing well. Oh, no, he is doing well. All right. So maybe the virus has been getting out, or maybe he was just brought here for experiment... Maybe he was just brought here for experimentation. Maybe he wasn't infected to begin with before he came here. Hmm. Can we see the body? Well, I guess you seem pretty acceptant of it. Well, Meg, I guess... Meg, I guess we don't actually know that's not true. I mean, we can't say that for sure. Yeah, we've seen someone who's died with a pretty painful expression. Not with a pretty painful expression on his face. All right, well, I guess we're gonna leave him be. Is there some, oh yeah, there is someone in that bed. I guess this is the friend. Can we take a look? Doesn't seem like it. That kind of synced up. Looking at, at the face when that happened? Kinda. A little bit. And it doesn't seem like it's letting me do it. Alright, let me just open up these curtains and see if there's anything behind here. And then, I guess we'll be on our way to the next room. There are so many bad choices in this game. And you kind of wonder how they happened. 
because I mean, you'd think that the slightest bit of testing would have told them maybe that this was a bad idea. But no, I mean, it it made it into the game. Oh, hold on. What are we doing here? Footsteps. It's probably Lucino. Hmm, any place here I can hide? Well, there is this. Okay, now, remember to hold our trigger to hold our breath. That was good timing. That was good timing, game. I think that was unintentional. I don't think you meant to do that, but it was good timing. All right, it's Alex. Okay, Alex is the CEO, and it is Dr. Jones. You can't make fun of magic in Asia. Hmm, it's a curse. A powerful curse. So, I guess what's happening is the CDC is weaponizing Sadako's curse. I knew it. I knew all along that the CDC was up to no good. Well, who do they think they are? Controlling diseases. You know what they were really up to. It was weaponizing Japanese curses. All this time. 